What's up guys, NBA talk, second video of the night for us, more trade talks for today because there's a lot. Um, this one specifically is talking about the New York Knicks, my New York Knicks, uh, in a three-team trade with the Denver Nuggets and the Dallas Mavericks. Um, in this trade, Doug McDermott, our Doug McDermott from the New York Knicks, goes to the Dallas Mavericks. Uh, the Dallas Mavericks give the Denver Nuggets Devin Harris, uh, the guy who's been in and out of injuries, former starter for the Denver Nuggets. No, De uh, Dallas Mavericks going to Denver. The Denver Nuggets give up Emmanuel Moutier, the backup to Jamal Murray, to us, the New York Knicks. Uh, we also switched draft picks with the Denver Nuggets. So 2020 second-round draft picks switched up between the Denver Nuggets and the New York Knicks. So let me repeat this again for what we got. New York Knicks get Emmanuel Moutier. Dallas Mavericks get Doug McDermott. And uh, Denver Nuggets get uh, Devin Harris. With the switch of picks between the Denver Nuggets and the New York Knicks. So what does this entail? McDermott, our shooter, he's gone. Um... It's been an inconsistent road for him this season. He was very good in the uh, first couple months until like December where his minutes started to go back and forth. Like it just dropped and then goes a little bit up, then dropped. It's like inconsistent. Jeff Hornacek, uh, his rotation was not good for him. And the opportunities he got, he got barely got any shots in. Like, he, he's not getting, like, seven shots a game or nine shots a game. I'm surprised he doesn't get that much. Like, yeah, so we send him away, which is very hard to see because I think we could have built something with him in New York for sure, uh, especially if they give him time to develop himself with the team and get opportunities. They didn't give him that. Um... Hey, and we got Emmanuel Moutier. And that's when the controversy starts in because we have a whole bunch of guards. Jared Jack, Frank Nidakila, Trey Burke that we got up from the G League, and now we got Emmanuel Moutier. So four guards that could play point guard, maybe two guard, a whole bunch of guard play right now. And it's confusing the hell out of New York Knicks fans and pretty much NBA fans overall on why they did this trade. Um, like Frank need a killer, it, it it doesn't make sense because you're we're trying to groove groove him, groom him into the starting lineup, right? And then you have Emmanuel Moutier, a young player too. Um, we don't know what's going on. Jared Jack, it makes sense because we're not going to keep him long term, obviously. He's probably going to be gone by the end of the season. So it kind of makes sense for him. But with frightening Aquila there, it does not. Like, what does the future tell for the point guard position? Who knows? Uh, I don't see uh, Emmanuel Moutier becoming a two guard. Because they uh, in the Denver Nuggets, he struggled for his shot. And he turned the ball over a huge amount of times in his first rookie year. And then I think a little bit in the second year until Jamal Murray got drafted. And that, that changes for him. Like, he started to lose minutes. And now we're here now with Emmanuel Moutier. So that's a very confusing thing right now on the New York Knicks did. We did trade with the uh, Charlotte Hornets. We gave up Willie Harry Gomez. So we're just switching up in gun, um, young play, young guards, young players, something. I don't know. It's just weird. This is a very weird trade. I don't understand it. Maybe you guys understand it. Explain to me if you understand. Um, if you don't, still explain that because let me know how you feel about this. So peace.